Hi guys, welcome back to Broke Not Broken, and you're probably wondering why you're looking at a pile of garbage sitting on my island. Well, I'm going to explain today how this pile of garbage can actually help you on your homestead for absolutely free because you've already paid for these objects that you're throwing into your recycling bin every single day. All right, now we're gonna explain a few things that I have here, all right? Now, I don't have newspaper on here on my island, but that's because it's in use. Now, newspaper I use for the following things. Bedding for my worm bed, I cut it down and I throw it in. Worms eat it, give me compost that way. I also use this fire starter for the outside fire pit for my husband equals potash. The potash goes into the, my composters outside and it also goes onto my garden. So I use it that way. I use it for my liners for my planters. So I line the bottom of my planter. So if they're plastic and stuff, so it will absorb the water. So the water's not completely coming out the bottom of my, my big planters. It'll help the root system as well. That's how I use them. Now, I also use this draft blocker. I live in an older home that is very drafty. So what I'll do with newspaper is I'll fill a big pillowcase, like a king size pillowcase with newspaper and put it where the draft is. They've been using this technique in walls and old homes for a lot of years. And if you own an old home and you've had the privilege of ripping one out, you'll find newspaper on the walls. Why is that? It works as a great insulator. Now, Egg cartons. Now, clearly, I don't buy eggs, but I have friends that do. So they give me their egg cartons. What I use them for is clearly eggs for my girls. And I also use them as small storage for small things for my kids. I also use it as free seedling starters. So I'll put soil on this and plant my seed or seeds in here. Once I have seedlings, I'll break these sections of the egg carton apart and I'll plant it directly into the ground. That's another way I use it. I also fill these with wax sometimes from spent candles and a little bit of lint from my dryer. I'm looking at the dryer, sorry. And I will use it as a fire starter for my outdoor fire pit. It's quick, it's easy. You just dump it in and go, okay? I use it that way. The other things thing I use it for is you know Christmas crafts and and things like that with my kids they love doing stuff like that now bread bags I make bags of these other you know bags I'll cut them up and crochet them together and I'll make bags or I'll make mats for my outdoor animals my dogs you know bed outside I'll use these up it, but It'll make a nice cushion for her in her doghouse. I also use them as boot liners when I have like a rubber boot that leaks. I store things like cleaning products in it. So what I'll do is I'll take this bag and I'll put it over this spray bottle right here like this. I'll twist it, put a rubber band around the neck of it if I'm traveling with this in my car. So it's if it does leak for whatever reason, it's not leaking everywhere. I use as small bin liners in the car and truck. I also we also use it as disposable lunch stuff for Jason's lunch as well. Same with paper bags. Like paper bags, if they're in good shape, I will use them as garden waste bags. So if I'm in weeding, I'll fill up the bag and put it in the composter. That's one way I use it. I use paper bags for Jason's lunch. If they're in good shape, that way, you know, he's if he loses his lunch or gets the bag gets damaged or yucky, I can just put it right in the composter. I use them as wrapping paper if they're in good shape. So what I'll do is, this one clearly has a label on it. I will cut it. I will turn it inside out and use it as wrapping paper for Christmas presents, birthday presents, etc. Or I'll convert it into another little bag for little things. If it's in bad shape, I will use it for the following things. Liners for pots, the worm bin, or compost bins outside. I also, if they're in bad shape, will use it like I do newspaper and put it on the ground, cover it with soil, etc. as a killer. Now the cookie tin. Now this cookie tin has a hinge lid, which I really, really like. I use these for seed sorting. I use them for takeaway lunches in my car snack bins because it is a food 
grade 10. I also use it as an organizer in the car, you know, for little things that I might need. It works great as a first aid kit. And that's what I use that for. You could also, if you wanted to, you could drill holes in the bottom here. Take the lid off of it, but it's hinged. I mean, you'd have to cut it off. And use it as a window box in your kitchen for herbs, etc. That's another thing you can do with it. Now, toilet paper rolls. Toilet paper rolls, if you look at this roll, it's got a cut here. And it's got a small cut here. I use this to gather my cords up with, with in my house. But you could also stand up this way in a shoebox and use it as a seed starter and plant it, you know, once your seeds have started, plant it directly in the ground this way. You can use it for extension cords the same way that I use it for regular cords. You could use it for... Oh, oh, fire starter as well. You could literally pack in dryer lint. Sorry, my brain went dead. And start a fire that way. So those are some of the things I use it for. Or if you're not using it at all, you could cut it up, put it in your compost or as your carb source. That's another thing. Now, steel cans. You could use it as a small cooking surface if you needed to. If once it's empty, you've used the contents, you could make it into a candle, use the heat to cook on, you know, if you didn't have hydro. You could also punch holes in the sides of this thing and paint it up real nice and use it as a lantern outside. I've done that before. I've used these in a multitude of ways. You could punch a hole in the bottom here and use it as a planter if you really needed to. Now the giant jug. See how it's got a line there? See the handle? All right. You can cut along that line and now it becomes a feed scoop. It also becomes a funnel. You could leave the lid on it. It could be a hanging planter if you really felt, you know, you needed a hanging planter. It could do that as well. The bottom part where you cut off, like this part right there. See where the recycling thing is? You could use that part as a planter. You could also use it as a feed dish or a waterer for outdoor an animal. Because it this one is uh, vegetable oil, I wouldn't suggest using a bleach bottle or something like that. Now, let's go on to, oh, the Rubbermaid bin. Now, if I didn't have a lid for this, what could I use this Rubbermaid bin for? Well, currently it's holding my seeds, but you could use it as a worm bin if you drilled some holes in it and had some composting worms and had a secondary bin without a lid you could use it as a small scale garden for your lettuces on a window ledge something like that you could use it for car storage oil storage you know feed an instant feed bucket an instant water bucket it's limitless there now the poultry bag. Now, this poultry bag is a tarp. It's a tarp-like material. So say you needed a tarp. You could cut the sides out of that bag. And I'm not going to lift it. I'm just going to let you see it. It's a tarp material. So you could cut right along the sides here. And you could wire it to put shade over your chickens or use it as an insulator in a doghouse or you could put it over a small um, wood pile I've done that use it over your uh, garbage cans to protect from birds you could use it on your recycling bins to stop water from getting in on your paper stuff that you're not using that you're putting out to the curb you could use it for just about anything because it is a tarp material now in the past I have used it for trucking um, you know the girls soiled bedding out of to the compost pile to the gardens because it is a heavy-duty bag you can use it that way there's a multitude of things you can use that for after the feeds out of it so I suggest holding on to a couple of them you know you never know when you have to mend a tarp that would work great to do that with 
now let's go on to the clothespin. Now, why would I have a clothespin? This works great for pinning in a pinch, tarps, clothesline. If it breaks, this wire here, if you take it apart, works good for wiring, fencing back together, wiring tarps up. The wood itself, you could use it to start a fire. You could use it as a wedge or as a shim. I mean, say you just need a shim. This part would work great as a shim. You could use it for its intensive purposes. I use it sometimes in the winter because we can't hang our clothes out because it'll freeze. I use them for chip bags or other things instead of buying these cute little doodads. But once this breaks, that wire in there is gold. I can use that to wire up fencing. I can use it to hang feeders on. I can use it for a whole bunch of things. So look at it differently. That's this, that's the point of this, is to look at everything way different than you did before. Now, why do I have this jar, the industrial lid? All right, once this jar is empty, I can do a lot of things with this. This lid, I can punch a hole in it, paint it silver, and now becomes a bird deterrent in my garden. Or I could, if the lid's in good shape, the gasket's in good shape, I could can in it. It's not recommended, but I've done it and I'm not dead. I could use this jar to store things in. I could also use this jar, jar to put things like medicine in. I could use it as a candle. I could make a candle in it. I could also, you know, let the jar go altogether and just keep the lid. I mean, the, it's limitless what you can do with things when you use your imagination, guys. So, you know, I'm trying to think of ways that you can utilize what you have in your home so you're not overspending on things. You don't need to have, you know, expensive trays to grow seedlings. You don't need to, you know, buy, you know, you might need a 20-foot tarp at, a t at one time and you might need to buy that. But sometimes you just need a little tarp. So you might have a feed bag kicking around. That feed bag now becomes your tarp. So I would like to thank you all for watching. And I really hope you enjoy my stuff. Oh, I missed one thing. I missed one thing. I'm sorry. The one thing I did miss. And I'm going to say this. This item is now like hard to come by, okay? I'm going to show you how I use it. See this? This is a bread and milk or milk. Uh, tab. Now I use it for clearly my phone jack, but you can use these to clip up any wire. I have used them in the past to clip tomatoes when they're small to a fence. You can use it that way. Now I'm going to come up with more and more content as we go on because a lot of people keep asking me how I am able to do this on, on a low income and be able to grow so much food for my family. So this is how I do it. Like and subscribe, please share. And I want, I wish you guys a great day today. Thank you for joining us. Bye.